Welcome to Cot. Today, we're going to talk about, my name's Coda, and this is my dad, Dennis. What we're going to talk about today are blacklisted IP addresses, in particular the ones from DigitalOcean. I've been reading a lot about how DigitalOcean is hard to start an email server on because their IP addresses are blacklisted so often because of spammers using them. And so I decided to spin up a few IP addresses off of DigitalOcean and off of Vulture and compare the two, see if there are any truth to this. And stick around and I'm gonna show you what the results shows from this. Okay, everyone, before we really start, I just want to let y'all know that this is by no means scientific or a definitive answer on whether DigitalOcean's IP address are spammed or listed or blacklisted. It's just my experience dealing with DigitalOcean's over the time I have and plus the 10 instances I spun up just to do this review over. So we get that done. Let, first thing I want you to do is go to mxtoolbox.com. Uh, once you get into there, you'll see it's a great little tool for checking in different things. But you'll see this thing called Blacklist. Well, I want you to click it. And, it, and pretty much if you read down here at the bottom where it says it checks that and tests a mail server IP address against 100 DNS-based email blacklists i guess they're commonly recalled or commonly called real-time blacklist or rbl or something like that so this is the way that they help kind of reducing the spam when they get blacklisted it, it kind of kicks you off from being your email delivered to that certain person it usually go to the spam inbox so let's start off by going to digital ocean as you can tell, I spun up 10 different instants, each one of them, and I've checked them against this MX Toolbox blacklist. And what I come to, and I may not show three on here, but the most I had was three blacklists out of 82 known uh, blacklist uh, thing. You know, like Barracuda was one of them that in one of these tests that I've done, they, they changed up off and on different companies. But as you can tell, this is the droplets in the IP address for the digital ocean and I'm going to scroll down or in the areas you could tell when we go to each one of them each one of them been blacklisted at least two times on this particular matter like I said the most I've have done since I've been doing digital oceans is was three but one to two is typical for them being blacklisted and see this is one and they all being and you wouldn't think that would be a bay of one out of 82 and, and it's probably not but if you were planning on putting an email server and hosting it yourself you want to try to take all precautions and not have it blacklisted on any of these sites or any of these uh, uh, blacklist uh, reputation things that uh, kind of deters it so and I'm going down again you see it is still blacklisting every IP address that I spun up and here's the one that blacklisted on Barracuda now Barracuda I know a lot of these government entities and stuff uses Barracuda and it's one of those things that if you're blacklisted on that you, you're probably going to have a hard time sending emails to any kind of government entity or something like that so just bear with that in mind but all right, this is all the ones that I've seen. You see, every one of them, the different companies, the different things. It seems like this particular company blacklists a lot of them pretty quick. But that is dealing with the uh, reputation of the IP address. Once you start getting blacklisted, the, rep, the IP address reputation is starting to take a hit, and that's why it's starting. You see, it's hard to get them out of the spam folder. Now let's look at the same way on Vulture. As you tell, Vulture got a lot more PLP addresses, and I spun up a lot of different ones. You know, in in America where I live, and of course, you know, London, Amsterdam, Tokyo, Frankfurt. I I'd done all of those, and then when I went over to MX and compare them, no surprise, 
and and even dealing with uh, even dealing with the, uh, Vulture in the past, it doesn't seem like they're never blacklisted. I don't know what they're doing compared to digital ocean because spammers i'm sure use their facility or their ip addresses just as well as digital ocean i don't know what's going on between them a spammer will spin up an instant use it once it gets to the point where it is no longer good for them or reputable or uh, a good one to get rid of that and spin up another one use that but as you could tell this vulture shows no blacklisted ip address so basically, that's all I wanted to show you today is just some of my my experience dealing with both Digital Ocean and Vulture. I'm probably going to do a video in the future. I'm going to try to get a Digital Ocean uh, set up on one and see what we could do in order to get it where it's not going to be taking spam. So I know a lot of people's problem is having an email server set up on Digital Ocean.